Hi everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be talking about BookTube travel and in particular the Worldcon. Now, first of all I'll say what the Worldcon is, if you didn't already know. Now, the Worldcon is a big literary convention. It is held every year. It is held in different cities around the world. It is always held roughly around um, the middle of August each year. Obviously this varies depending on what that city is capable of doing. Sometimes it, I think it can be at the very end of July, I think. Sometimes it can be almost September, but generally it's mid-August. And the cities that it goes to can host it again. For instance, London in England has hosted the Worldcon three times. The last time, in fact, was only 2014. But sadly, I, for some reason, didn't end up going to that, which is a shame because obviously London is extremely close to me and it would have been extremely convenient to get to. But oh well. Anyway, the purpose of the Worldcon is to host the Hugo Award ceremony. Now, the Hugo Award is the oldest and the biggest of all of the literary science fiction and fantasy awards that is currently um, still going. It has been held since 1955 and many very well loved and well respected science fiction and fantasy authors have won awards within the Hugo Awards themselves. Now there is the main Hugo Award, which is like the you know for the main book, but then you have one for short story and for different formats within it. And indeed, over the years, there has been new types of award introduced. Old ones have been faded out and killed off. And, you know, and this is in evolution over time, as these things always are. The 2018 Worldcon will be held in San Jose, California, in America, and. I'm still amazed and still sort of surprised myself to be able to say that I am actually going to be attending that Worldcon in America next year, which frankly is remarkable by itself. Now the reason for it being remarkable is the fact that, for instance, I wanted to go to this year's Worldcon, which was held in Helsinki, Finland, but because of my anxiety with travel, which is my only anxiety. I don't get anxiety with anything else in life whatsoever. Just travel. I basically didn't end up going to Helsinki. Basically, I was all out at the last minute. And I'm not very happy by the fact that I didn't go as well because I had the money to go and I had the desire to go. I just couldn't get over my own anxiety. But I'm happy to say that I have managed to surpass this anxiety and this fear and I will be going next year. And I'm really happy that I've managed it. And frankly, the reason for this is twofold. Is frankly, it's because of the booktubers that will be attending there. You know, a bunch of them. And the example of the four that I know are going are Rachel, Bree, Paul and Denise. They are four booktubers who I'll link in the description box below. Whom I've got to know rather well, as you may know. And the fact that they're going to be going and indeed we are, we are arranging it. So we'll actually meet each other up at the airport on the American side and then we'll go from there. Frankly makes things a lot better and a lot nicer for me because that is where my anxiety lies with the other end, you know, getting off the plane and then somehow I've got, I've got an irrational fear of being lost or suddenly not being able to buy anything because my, I don't know, my credit card's denied or, you know, stupid things basically. I'm just... I know these fears never come true because I always end up um, doing extremely well with whatever I do but like I said it's just an irrational fear that I'm trying to surpass but it's not an easy project obviously because you know it's, it's anxiety you know, anxiety is not something you can just you know magically just get rid of overnight although I am desperately trying as hard as I can the other thing that greatly gives me confidence with going and it, and it did help me completely eliminate my anxiety with travel is oddly enough Rachel in particular known as Kalanadi on booktube now if you didn't know I'm always talking about Rachel in videos all the time I mean more than likely I've probably mentioned Rachel in the last few weeks depending on when this video is uploaded but Rachel gets the same level of anxiety over travel that I do in exactly the same way so knowing that Rachel wants to go and indeed will be going gives me Remarkable amount of confidence, frankly, and frankly, me and Rachel can be sort of travel anxiety buddies together when we're there. And I don't know, I just 
really looking forward to now now that i know that um the anxiety part of it won't be a problem because as i said you know we'll arrange it so we'll meet up at, at the other end so now i can just concentrate on going there and meeting up with the four of them almost certainly there'll be more people there as well and we can go around to the various talks and all the various uh, events that happen around the world con and we can also go to various bookshops when the walk on is not being held because we'll I'll almost certainly be going a few days early and we can go to a bookshop and frankly the thought that I'll, I'll actually be able to go to a bookshop with Rachel in particular is really really fun although I'm gonna need to make sure I have a lot of um suitcase room because Rachel makes me buy a lot of books now so actually going in a bookshop with her is gonna be terrible frankly because I'm probably gonna end up buying an awful lot of books but I'll find out though I'll find I will though. Anyway, that's it. If you are go going to be going or would like to go to the World Con next year, you know, in San Jose, then please let me know. We could possibly meet up um, when we're there. I don't know, of course, because I don't know how World Cons exactly work. But yeah, I'll be. I'll have my phone on me, and indeed, I will be taking photographs, and I may be vlogging when I'm there as well. So, if you let me know, we can probably arrange to meet up somewhere inside the convention centre or something you know we'll see near the time because of course that's not something you can plan up um in advance i mean that said that is it for this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you another day bye for now